it is the 29th day of relentless Russian attacks in Ukraine. Russia continues to up the offensive against Ukraine. Bloodbath continues on the streets of many cities of Ukraine. The city of Mariupol has now been devastated. Some parts of the city has become ghost towns after multiple shellings reduced buildings to debris. A massive explosion was reported from Ukrainian port, Mariansk. In fact, black smoke had engulfed the port. According to reports, a warehouse with ammunition and fuel was also destroyed. Reports also suggest that a Russian ship sank and two others were on fire while trying to escape. The city of Chernihiv paints a picture of devastation. These images show broken buildings, smoke emerging from small houses. The city of Kharkiv remains one of the worst hit with attacks from all corners. Charred buildings and commercial establishments show the significant amount of damage that's been done to that city. But Ukrainians' valiant fight back continues today. Ukraine claims 12,000 Russian soldiers are in and around Kiev region and out of which 3,000 soldiers have been surrounded, whereas 4,000 have been cut off to unpleasant places. Here are images that shows the large-scale devastation. Remember, we saw Ukraine as a thriving country for decades long post its independence. But here we see the country now back to its struggle. They're fighting for freedom and in the melee, large destruction com completely brought down that country to its knees. Let me quickly cut across to Mustafa Naim, Deputy Minister, uh, who's joining us. Mustafa Naim, really appreciate your time. Uh, if you can give us an understanding on 29 days straight on that this war has gone on to, there seems to be no signs of Russia's de-escalation. At a time like this, what's the spirit like of Ukraine at this point? Do you still have hope that y'all could stand and face this, uh, this kind of onslaught coming in from Russia and how long? So well, thank you for for having me in your show. And uh, you're right that the, for these 29 days, today is one month. Uh, we have this war, and you are right that the escalation is not there. And uh, we see that all our cities are now shelled. And most of all, you see that city of Mariupol and Kharkiv, which is under shelling, and also Chernigiv and our other uh, harbors. So, <clears throat> of course, we have faith that we will win this victory, this war, just, just because it's our land. And uh, for now, it is obvious that Russia is mm, using much more missiles than they used before. For last uh, months, they used in Ukraine more missiles than during five years was used in Syria war. For you to understand, for without our estimation, more than 1,100 uh, rockets and ammunitions was and shells was shelled to our cities and more than 1,600 cities are without electricity, mostly are demolished to zero. We have some cities which does not exist in, anymore. So the, it looks like Russia now use more, much more tough uh, issues against Ukraine. But uh, uh, I, I can't say that Ukraine now is trying to, or some we have some doubts that we will stand for against that. And of course, Russia has big obstacles uh, in our territory because our army is much more prepared. And we see that amount of um, uh, wounded and uh, died soldiers from Russia's side is now counts more than 15,000 is uh, estimation of our general staff. So for this moment, of course, we have big problem with the logistic issues, with the food, with the uh, weapon, because we does not have any more, uh, does, ha does not have enough weapon to uh, protect our sky, but from the other side on the ground, we, it looks like we are, we are much more powerful than that. You know, we see that you say with conviction, you will, you will fight back, you will continue to fight back and you will win. But do you have enough help coming in from the West? Uh, you have Joe Biden, who is currently in Europe, he is discussing with world leaders. Uh, does that give you any sense of security? Do you have enough uh, military aid coming in your way to face this onslaught? First of all, the, we are believe in our army, in what we have. That's the basis of our mm -hmm. faith and our confidentiality. But uh, when we saying about weapon and what we have uh, in our country, of course, it is not enough. If you see the map, you will see the, the Ukraine and Russia. You can understand the 
uh, comparison between two, those two countries is not rele relevant. It, it is obvious that they have much more, uh, uh, much more aircraft, much more missiles, much more weapon, and much more people. So we need more and more protection. And what we ask for, first of all, is no fly zone under uh, uh, um, above Ukraine because without that, we will not able to protect our cities. And for us, it is very crucial now to have machine guns. And of course, most of all, we need uh, not not machine guns, but we need more <clears throat> all those systems which will protect us uh, from the sky. I'm talking about planes. I'm talking about anti-aircraft aircraft systems. I'm talking about portable air defense systems and unmanned aerial vehicle. And uh, of course, attack helicopters, multiple rocket launcher systems, and etc. All these issues we need every day more and more because we are protecting our cities, and now we have we have lack of these issues. And we are asking about these issues from our neighbors like Poland, uh, Slovakia, like Romania.